everyone! My name is Melissa and I'm a graduate student at The Ohio State University where I study bee communities. Ohio has over 500 species of bees. These bees are broadly divided into two main types, ground and cavity nesting. Around 70% of bees are ground nesting. The remaining bees are considered cavity nesting. Despite being the most common, ground nesting bees are really hard to manage. These bees will dig their own nests, so they don't really need our help beyond leaving our lawns unmulched and undisturbed. Cavity nesting bees, on the other hand, do not build their own cavities from scratch. They often rely on pre-existing spaces or utilize partially started cavities and excavate the area further. There are several ways to create cavity support bees. We're going to cover two in this video. Drilling holes in wood blocks and using nesting straws in waterproof tubes. To make a bee hotel with nesting straws, your first step is either buying nesting straws or locating a plant which has pithy or open stems. Your next step is to place stems in a container. Make sure to cut them to the appropriate length so that they don't stick out. In this case, I'm using a water bottle that I removed the top half. Then all you need to do is place your nest in a secure location. You can tie string around multiple parts of the nest and attach it to a post. Our second nest construction involves drilling holes into a block of wood. This is where we're going to use our handy dandy drill. Have someone show you how to properly and safely remove a drill bit before starting. By using a variety of sizes, you can create cavities that are optimal for a variety of different bees. Some bees will only nest in large diameters the size of your finger. Others will nest in holes half the size of a pencil. You decide how many large and small holes you want to drill in your block of wood. If you're drilling a hole 3 8 of an inch or larger, you need your hole to be at least 5 inches long. A smaller hole only needs to be 3 to 4 inches long. If you want, you can also construct a small roof for your nest to keep out rain. Alternatively, you can just place your nest under a pre-existing ledge, such as a porch or shed roof. You want to place the nest horizontally in an area out of rain and direct sunlight. Just be sure that the nest is secured and does not roll around in the wind. Most cavity bees are present the early spring and summer, so if you don't put your nest out until late summer, you may not see very many bees. But don't worry, they should find your bee hotel next year, and most importantly, have fun.